So, Mark, uh, this has been rumored about for so long. At what point did you and David Lynch realize, okay, we're actually going to do this? Well, it was not long after we started having lunch and talking about it in 2012, where we said, I think this is fertile ground, and I think, you know, if we tried to dig a well here, we might hit another gusher. Um, so it was, I would say it was right around then, and then we had to sit on it as a secret for two or three years before we could tell anybody. So we had good practice keeping the secrets, which have been kept ever since. Nobody's talked about the show at all. Yeah, I remember something uh, in the original about uh, 25 years on. Yeah. Is that a part of your master plan? I'd like to say so, <laughs> um, but that would be taking a little bit too much credit. We, When we went back and looked at the last episode, and that line hit us, and it's very close to the end of the episode. We looked at each other and said, okay, somebody just gave us the combination lock to this door. And uh, apparently we did it and gave it to ourselves 25 years ago. It was truly like time traveling in a way. Talk about the difficulty. You and David Lynch wrote all 18 episodes yeah. of this. Was that a challenge as opposed to having a writer's room? Uh, the only challenge was just sitting down every day and doing it. And it took a year. It was, you know, you need a lot of discipline. You need a lot of... Uh, uh, just fortitude to get through it, but it worked out really well. What is that collaboration like between the two of you? It's like um, playing catch with somebody. You know, it's like uh, you know each other's rhythms, you know each other's, you can sort of anticipate each other's thoughts, and uh, I get tennis would be a better analogy. You can bat it back across the net and know you're going to get somebody returning it to you. When you were doing this originally on ABC, um, did you realize when you were making it that you were going to make something that would have such an impact? And no, I mean, you, 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 you can't think those things or you'll have to check yourself into an asylum. Um, you just try to do the best you can and then, you know, what happens to it is what happens to it. And that's up to the audience, not to you. So at that point, you have to kind of let it go. There are people like myself who discovered the show after its original run and uh, people have continued to discover it. Yeah. Why do you think it has had such a staying power? There's something in it narratively and emotionally that I think speaks to people on a level that they weren't used to being spoken to, certainly not on network television. And I think it made a big impression on them and I think the new generations that have come along have had the same experience. So I think that's what it was and I think that's why we, we hope they're going to be satisfied with coming back for this big second helping. Thank you so much.